Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Raptor Dad Gaming, and in this video, I'm going to give you some fundamentals on how to fly and fight in the F-22. So, let's get it started. First and foremost, if you haven't yet, please consider liking and subscribing. We had a stretch goal of reaching a thousand subs, and holy crap, we're less than 30 away. I really appreciate the support, it means a lot. So let's go ahead and look into the controls, and again, these will apply to the F-15, I'm not sure if I mentioned that before, but some of these will apply to the F-15. So. First, our modes. We want BVR, and I'm going to explain these as we go through them throughout the video. But uh, BVR, kind of your base mode when engaging, vertical scan, as well as your bore sight. And then from here, we'll go down to our radar modes on and off. Got to make sure you have it on first. Pulse, repeat, repeat frequency select, range while scan, track while scan, and then display zooms in and out. And from here, we'll go to some axes. These do have key binds. If you don't have a access to use it, however, definitely recommend it. And this is how we move our cursor on the radar. So TDC salutes vertical and horizontal, and then our radar vertical as well. Additionally, if you're having issues with the pitch, make sure you bind the F-22 pitch axis, not the standard FC-3 pitch here. So next, we'll look at our weapon controls. Back here to the keybinds, first and foremost, master arm, can't do anything without that. Next, we want the target lock, weapon change, weapon release, this is how we fire our missiles, cannon, this is how you bring up your uh, gun display, first and second detent, this is how you actually fire the gun. If you don't have a two-stage trigger, just go with the second detent, and then lastly, weapons base select. So, let's go ahead and engage some targets. So let's get set up here to fight. We want master arm on. And then we'll go ahead and select our RDR. This is our radar, bring it up on our display. Turn the power on and bring up our RWR as well. Radar warning receiver. It's not gonna be applicable this go around and I can explain that in another video. For now, we just wanna launch some missiles and lock up some targets. So on the left hand side here, you can see this is our radar range at 30. Means that it's scanning up to 30,000. And the bottom means that it's scanning basically through the ground. Top right there, 40, means that we're looking about 40 miles out. We know that the targets are about 38-ish miles, thereabouts. And we can see all of our tracks now. As I mentioned before, we've got two radar modes, track while scan and range while scan. The cool thing about track while scan is we can lock up multiple targets. And you can see I've got them bugged now. I'll go ahead and switch to BVR mode. Kicking back to range while scan. The cool thing of that is again, you can maintain the lock, which is cool, STT, single target track. A lot more power, less likely to drop the lock. Switch to Twiz. Again, you see it starts to populate. We're getting a little bit closer now. Cool thing is, it can lock onto multiple targets, and it'll automatically lock onto the next target that you have selected. So here we go. Fox three times two, boom, boom, automatically selects the next target. Great when you have a lot of targets in the area and you just wanna go ahead and try to shoot them all down at once. Now, the missiles are affected by kinematics, speed and altitude. The greater speed and altitude, the more likely you are to kill a target. So I'm gonna accelerate it, and boom, first kill. Next one's going in, looks like it's tracking. And splash, get some. All right. So those, those are our first mode in regards to track while scan. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and go to bore sight. And so when you select that, Gigantic circle comes up and anything that flies within that circle gets locked onto you as you can see here Boom. Already splashed them, but yeah automatically locked back onto them again Next will be vertical scan mode Looking for my next target here anything essentially within about a 75 degree from that line You'll see a vertical line here once I select back to it Imagine drawing a line roughly 75 degrees up. It'll lock onto that target great for when you're turning behind the target trying to keep them inside and you want to get a quick lock. It's kind of the closest thing we have to an off foresight capability. So we'll go ahead and fox on them. And splash, there we go. Now the only difference with the AIM-9s for the F-22 is you do not have to uncage it and you have a lot less range. So with the 120s you can launch them at about 18 nautical miles again depending upon your kinematics. AIM-9 is going to be a lot closer, about four nautical miles. So lastly, we're gonna look at using the gun. Pretty simple, not the most accurate gun system out there compared to an F-16 or an F-18. 
but it's pretty simple. You see you got the gigantic kind of sun looking thing here. This is your pipper. We're gonna close to within about half a mile. You can try to shoot from further. Again, not super accurate. Shots are gonna fall a little bit short too. And so until your range, you can see it's right there on the bottom right side there, that 0 0.05. Get a little bit closer here. And let it fly. There we go. Got some hits there. And voila. And those are your fighting fundamentals for the F-22. Again, if you found it helpful, consider liking and subscribing. We'll definitely keep the content flowing. Wrapped that out. Thanks for watching.